Hello, I'm Doc with Dr. Performance. I'm the founder of Dr. Performance. And this is a Dura Mileage module we're going to be installing today <clears throat> on an LML, which is a newer Denali 2011 through 2016 GMC or, or Chevy truck. Um, I'm going to show you how we go about this and what we do. This is a pigtail jumper for, uh, for basically the plug in switches, which isn't offered on this particular one. And then there's a male and female connector we're going to plug in in the back towards the firewall. So we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, so you, when you call, you'll be able to watch it if you have any questions of location and how to plug them in. Okay, we're going to reach to the back where the transmission filler tube stick stick is. There's a white wire sensor back here. We're going to go right behind it. We're going to pinch, pull it right out. Okay, there's the sensor and here's the wire. Okay, I'm going to take one end of this and plug into the sensor we unplugged. With the clip up. Hold on, let's get it. Get it on the right one. Here we go. So the clip's facing up. We're going to push till it snaps. Right there. We're going to take the other female side and plug into the sensor where we unplugged it from on this side and you'll hear it snap there click we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it over here over by the over by the fuse box and we're gonna use a tie wire we can either tie it right here where it sets away from the motor and away from the fender as long as the way some people can just set it here it's not gonna vibrate or rattle it's plastic and protected but that's basically how you install it now we're gonna start it up going to show like our hoods open and also when we plug this in we were talking about it, uh, how the sensors themselves can sometimes they stay powered up they can stay powered up for a lot longer than people think so sometimes you get a check engine light once you unplug that sensor the truck already knows you've been unplugged even if it's been off for five minutes ten minutes or an hour so you could get a check engine light in 100 miles a thousand you could not get them at all it just depends on what the sensor reads where the check engine light usually comes on, it's usually a soft coat and it goes back out because this already knows we had it unplugged. We didn't let it set for two days of power. But it's not an issue, that's usually an emissions light, no concern with the power of the running of the truck. But after that, you'll see an increase in fuel mileage. It's a run adapted computer, so you have about 100 hours of runtime where it learns and it adapts to the module and it'll get better and better the more you drive it, especially if you drive it the same way you normally drive it. Other than that, we're ready to roll.